Okay. <laughs> okay, guys. Um. So I got. <laughs> I got tired of using John, so I'm using his twin sister, Joanna, um, with all her beautiful long blonde hair and, uh, and her matching hairdo to me. And I'm going to use her to demonstrate uh, some of the new brushes that we got. So this brush, look at how cool that is. Um, it is just so awesome for making flower petals. I'm going to show you a quick eye design over here. Um, using your rainbow cakes and using um, your your uh, new brushes. So basically the first thing that I'm going to do is just um, load my sponge with my rainbow cake. So this is the one that I trimmed and I'm just loading it right across the surface just like this um, so that I'm picking up all the colors and then I'm going to lay that down on his eye, uh, on her eye, pardon me. So just close your eyes and I'm giving it a little bit of a bend. So I'm just going to fill it in right inside of there, right inside of the her eyelid so that I get that beautiful blend of color. And if you go over, just use the end of your sponge, the wet side, and just clear off wherever you don't since it's already has a little, now I fixed it for you right there. The next thing that I'm going to do is just using my mini mop, I'm just going to pick up um, a few of the colors right over the center of my rainbow cake. So I just made uh, one little circle right inside of there. So then the next thing that I'm going to do is just pick up my super fabulous uh, split brush because I love this brush and load it with the wolf white and then I'm just going to make a very quick and simple eye design so I'm going to start off up here and I'm just going to create almost like a teardrop effect bringing it in so I have that nice edge already on it and I'm just going to follow that around to create the edge work and I like the fact that it's split because it gives it um, an automatic kind of double teardrop look. And then I'm just going to use my brush and follow it in a circle around the circle that I made to create my flower right inside of there. So now I have my flower petals and all around my flower design. So just in a circle, just like that. So then because this paint should still be wet, I'm just going to kind of blend out the edges right inside of there. Next, using my brush, I'm just going to give everything a little bit more of an outline for my girl Joanna here. So I'll just go in and kind of define it a little bit more right inside of there. Add a few little dots because everybody knows how I love that so much right inside of there. And then all I'm going to do is give this entire design just a little bit of an outline using uh, my one of my favorite colors, which is that uh, plum color. It's just a really cool outline color instead of having to go in with black. Doubled, it's really cool because I'm just going to trace the outline of it. So as you can see, I'm just going in, giving it a little bit more of a definition. And this double-ended brush comes in um, several different sizes. So, you know, for those of you that like it, um, it's a really cool brush and it's available. So I just extend it in between them. And again, I'm just going to uh, finish this one out, bring it into the corner of the eye. I'm going to add a few little dots and a few little leaves. So I'm going to add my dots right inside of there to fill up that space and to fill in some of these spaces right inside of there. And then lastly, uh, right inside of the corner of the eye. But I want to extend it a little bit more using the white. What I'm going to do is just bring my dots down in the white in the corner of the eye right here on Joanna. And she looks so thrilled to be my model today. And then 
Um, I'm also going to make sure that it's nice and smooth in the corner of the eye right there. So close your eye for me. And I'm just going to brush this out so that there's no, you know, super choppy, blocky um, right there. So I just used my brush to smooth that out. And so I'm just going to go in right here. And then I'm going to very rough give it an outline following the shape of the bristle that it made which is so cool for you because this step is truly optional I just think that it's cool that the shape is already there for you so there's it takes the guessing work out of it so how fast and easy that super duper flower was so I did that and now just to finish it off I will add just few little leaves right around it and I'm just going to add a few leaves right inside of there right by the eye to complete it and then to balance it out I'll do some on that side and then just some right in here and the last thing I'll do for that and is just outline it with white to bring it all together so I'm just going to look for the one that's the most dry. So I'm just outlining and making a few leaves there. And a few leaves there. And here. So just like that. And I'm going to resist the urge to want to add my teardrops everywhere and I'm just going to simply add a few dots inside of there just like that and I gotta add some glitter come on come on come on mm. come on Joanna get with it so I'm just adding a little bit of my white fairy dust and putting it right on top of here as a little bit of an embellishment because all my girls love glitter which is my favorite so I'm going to not uh, give him or her any lipstick in this design so I want you to just turn and let's get a close-up of that and thank you guys for joining me on another really super fast easy uh, tutorial come on Joanna girl flip that hair and uh, thank you guys have a great day